We have talked about the spin echo sequence in detail already. It is composed of two pulses. A 90 degree and a 180 degree pulse. You should be able to recall what happens by now. The 90 degree pulse establishes transversal magnetization. However, this is not used to produce an image. Some time, half of TE, after the 90 degree pulse, we sent in a 180 degree pulse, which rephases the protons that are getting out of phase. After the time TE, we get a strong signal, the spin echo. As we have heard, we can produce not only one, but several echoes. The disadvantage is, however, that the signal becomes weaker and weaker. What were the imaging parameters that influenced the MR signal in the spin echo sequences? These were TE, the time between the 90 degree pulse and the echo, and TR, the time between two pulse sequences. In other words, from one 90 degree pulse to the next. What did the TE and the TR do? They determined how the resulting image was weighted. TE was responsible for the T2 weighting. TR for the T1 weighting. If you cannot remember this, or are still feeling unsure, please go back to section 19.